Hello, this is another post about how to use the Marketo API, although today's post is really more about how to use Postman, but it will save you a bunch of time when making uh, calls on the Marketo API. So what I'm going to show you today is how to use the get authorization endpoint uh, to store the authorization token so that you don't always have to go to launch point and get the token, which expires every hour. We can actually do that right in Postman itself. So uh, first thing here, you can just see that this is the call, but anytime you see uh, the, the double curly braces here, it's just a, um, a variable, same as a, a token in Marketo. So we're going to populate these um, in an environment. So I'll show you how to set up the environment first. I'm just gonna click new, come over to uh, environment, and we'll just call this Marketo. Um, you can do this if you only have one environment, you can call it Marketo. If you have a sandbox in production, you could call it prod and sandbox, um, or call one environment prod, create another environment, call it sandboxes. Um, so you can keep those separate. But for this case, we'll just put in Marketo. And here's where I'm gonna create my variables. So the first one I'm going to do is uh, Munchkin, because we'll store our, our Munchkin ID in there. We're gonna use the client, ID, which we'll get from uh, launch point. We're going to get the client uh, secret. And then finally, we're just going to um, call our authorization token auth. You can really call this whatever you want. Um, I'll, I'll show you how to set this later. So I have my variables already. So I'm just going to paste them in into the, the current value field. You may think it's um, initial value, but you actually want to do it into the current value field. So I'm going to paste my uh, Munchkin code there, my client ID there, my client secret there, and just leave auth for now. So we'll get that um, in just a little bit. I'm just going to click this and save. And now when you come to this drop down, you'll see that Marketo, you can choose that. So this needs to be selected, otherwise it doesn't know which variables to use because we could have multiple environments. So now I'm going to come to my uh, get authentication uh, endpoint. And here we'll see, uh, actually I'll need to update these names. These are for an old one, so I'll call this uh, client ID and then client secret. So here's the call, it's, it's, it's just the normal endpoint. It's the grant type is client credentials. The client ID equals what our stored client ID is in our environment. Client secret equals what our stored client secret is. So now we're almost set to run this, but in order for it to uh, store the, the authoriza authorization token, uh, we actually need to put a little bit of code here um, on this uh, test tab. So here, um, it's a very small a snippet of code, but essentially what we're just saying is store the response that we're getting from this call into that auth variable here. So now I'm just going to run this and we'll see that that worked uh, perfectly. The token type is bare. Um, and here's where it expires in. So it's in seconds. So 60 seconds times 60 minutes is 3,600. That's why here uh, it's one second less than that. If I, if I call this again, we'll see it's down to uh, 3,583. So apparently I spent 17 seconds explaining that. Um, anyways, uh, so now we're good to go. If I come back up here, uh, we'll see that my authorization token has now been filled out. Um, in the in the variables, so that's great. Now what we can do with that is uh, when we come up here to um, make our calls on the authorization tab. Um, in the past, you probably had something like like this, where you actually had the the whole token um, name in there from launch point. But now we don't need to do that. Uh, we can use that variable that we just set of auth. And now I'm just going to save that and click send. And we'll see that uh, now we get our response. So um, in all of these endpoints, we can just put this variable that we just created, and it's gonna save us a lot of time. And you may think, well, I could still do the same thing just by going, by using a variable um, and getting the token from uh, launch point, which you can, but then you have to keep going back to Marketo where um, as soon as this um, expires, I can just click send again, and then it's gonna go back to the um, 3,600 seconds. So uh, this is a big time saver. It just means you don't have to always keep going back to launch point to get that authorization token. And again, um, it, it's really gonna save time as you can use this in the authorization field 
uh, token field for all of your calls. So hope this helps.